Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past Part 15. This is Ron Moore along with Laura. Hello. I'm not sure if you want a nickname or, or just Laura or some sort of Zelda nickname or whatever. <laughs> I don't have a Zelda nickname, but I should I should think of one for sure. <laughs> and so, what the heck? These little sphinxes, lions, uh, whatever they are. lion things are so hard. Yeah. So now I am heading towards Ganon's Tower. This should be fun. That's another one of those. So yeah, Ganon's Tower, uh, I remember back then it was so challenging and I wonder how many, or how long it's going to take for me to get through this time. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I just played this game with my brother um, over Christmas and we're so bad at it. We, it took us forever. Yeah. There's been times where I had to look through a walkthrough on YouTube because mm -hmm. I forgot where to go oh, or sure. what to do. So yeah, here we go. This is Ganon's Tower, the final dungeon in the game. Thankfully. <laughs> so yeah, I believe I go in this door first. Yeah. The first key there. I remember I realized don't use the key on that door yet. You're pretty much wasting it. I don't remember what's behind that door. Um, I think it's like... Well, you don't really need a key to go through there because you eventually work your way around to there. Oh, okay. So it's best to save your key and not to... Huh, Makes sense. Not to waste your key and then wonder where the other key is. It's like the water temple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good yeah, old that, water temple. Yeah, that's still to come. Yeah. But, uh... Surprisingly, uh, the Ganon's Tower is easier than the Water Temple, uh, at least to me. Not to me, because I haven't played this game nearly as much as Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Freaking Skull skull Kids or whatever these things are to get my nerves, especially the ones that jump back and shoot bones at you. I know, there's some that'll throw bones at you, and others won't. Ah. Yeah, the blue one. Make no bones about it. This dungeon's pretty hard. <laughs> oh, well, I fell. It's okay. I remember when I first played this dungeon. I failed a lot. <laughs> but the, I think the the uh, Ganon's dungeon and the original Zelda was longer than this one. Now, it's definitely more challenging to me. And yeah, that, that one, the, the original Zelda was the hardest one to me even to this day. I still haven't beaten it without cheating. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I've played that game on like the very original one. Yeah, the very first one that came out in 86. I don't, I don't know if I've played that one. Yeah, pretty good game, but man, it's hard. Yeah. Even with Game Genie or Infinite Lives, trying to remember where to go and what to do. Oh, man, what? <laughs> okay, I blew up both of them. That's how they get you. Come on, get through there. Oh, <laughs> come on. There's a split second more. I actually got stuck on those before, and I think you... Oh, yeah. I don't you know have you... to, like, use the mirror to get out. Get out. It's annoying. Yeah. By that time, Turtle Rock, I got stuck behind one, but this one time I got stuck on one. <laughs> and I think I eventually got out, or I forgot what happened, but thank goodness for the mirror. I know. There we go. It took me forever to figure that out. Oh, yeah. God. I was so frustrating in Turtle Rock when I got stuck behind the, the blue blocks and had to start over. Oh, yeah, I bet. That's never happened to me before. That was funny but frustrating at the same time. Yeah. Okay, now this is frustrating to see if I remember which one, or, which order to go into. It's just a giant maze. Yeah, you go in these freaking mud puddles here and transport you to... To God knows where, and <laughs> well, not there. And I, I do this a lot; it gets annoying. <laughs> Gonna be echoing in my head all day. Uh, no. What if that were real life? Like, what if there were those weird portals in real life? I think that'd be cool. Yeah, it'd be scary though. At the same time, if you're a little kid and you get lost, you wander in a portal and. I know. I don't know where the heck you are. <laughs> uh, and then I call those, game. 
Reminds me of that game, Out of This World, Sega Genesis, that was, uh, was creepy. Yeah. Oh come on, you couldn't oh. sneak past there. That probably reminds you, every time you fall through a pit, it reminds you what floor you're on. See, look. Yeah, I oh, own yeah. the first floor. First floor. Because sometimes you can fall through and it takes you somewhere else, I guess, but... Yeah. It's just like rubbing it in your face, kind of, when you... You, you fell. It's just a pit, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Oh, man. Oh, man, yeah, this is the fun part where I gotta figure out oh, where to yeah. go. I can use the ether to... That's where I'm at. Mm-hmm, for sure. First time I played, I made the mistake of killing those little guys. But yeah. they actually help you, like... See where the hidden path is. Yeah. Oh man. Ah. It's all over over here. The first floor. <laughs> oh, there we go. Waste my magic. We're not really wasting it, but kind of feel like I'm wasting it on this. Yeah. I see where I'm going. I don't think the lens of truth is in this game, is it? The symbol is. I don't think the actual item. I don't think it is. Lens of Truth doesn't waste that much magic. Uh, there was a little lamp right there. I could have used the uh, fire staff to lit it up, and that would have lit the the, the path. I forgot about oh, that. Oh, what is... Uh, Anti-fairies are the bane of my existence. I'm yeah. not good at changing them. I did not know until I saw someone's playthrough recently. You can use the powder. Yeah. At... I don't think I even knew what the powder was really used for, except for to get the... Uh, your magic, uh, reduced by one half or whatever. Yeah. But that weird little bat guy. <laughs> yeah. A schizophrenic bat, whatever he yeah. was. Who knows? Oh, now I gotta fight the, uh, first dungeon boss. Mm -hmm. Now, I haven't got the silver, silver arrows yet. And so, usually silver arrows will kill these things in one hit. That's right, though, I got full health right here. That's good. My sword. Oh no! I love the fire sword. I know. Come on, man. Gone. Uh, now I'm gonna get the big key. Got him. When I was playing with my brother, um, a couple months ago, whenever we beat the boss, like the little mini boss in this room, we went out this left door first and then didn't get the big key. And it was such a pain to try and like figure that out again, like get back to that point. Oh yeah. Oh man. Worst yeah. mistake ever. Yeah, that's what can be confusing about Zelda games. You're trying to, I mean, you get lost and you're like, well, what did I miss? And you yeah. got that track and realize, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I got these fairies. Got him. I think that's all I can get. My balls are full now. Mm -hmm. Okay, now back to the first floor. And to get the, uh, was it blue? No, red mail. Or I got the blue mail. Better protection than blue mail. Yep. Nice. So instead of uh, the blue ring or the red ring, like the original Zelda here, it's the blue mail and the red mail. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool they brought back the rings. Kind of classic. Okay, now to the other side of the dungeon. See over there, I think, you know, I would have came out on this side. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would have used that key, and... So, yeah, I, uh... Had to check a walkthrough, make sure I got on the right path. Because at first, I failed right from the get-go, because I went in the main room. At the beginning mm -hmm. of the dungeon, I went to the main room upstairs, and... Oh, it's yeah. totally not where you go first. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, man. Hey, those freaking... Uh Ah, uh, now, now I forgot the wall master. Yeah, I forgot I can hit those with my sword. Yeah. Nothing's so frustrating like having that hand grab you and take you back to the beginning. That's the worst. I wish it would be like an ocarina of time where if you killed it, then it's gone, you know? Yeah. And they, they're also in the original Zelda. 
Okay. Sometimes they come out from the wall, not from the ceiling. They just grab, oh. snatch you right there. That makes sense why it's called Wall Master. Yeah, and, and here in Ocarina of Time, it's a uh, freaking Ceiling Master, I guess. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, these mu the mummies return. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Ooh, that's close. Yeah. Sometimes uh. my right speaker don't work. And if the hand's coming, if you're on the right side of the screen and the hand's coming, you don't hear it. You yeah, you have no ring. Stupid speakers. Well, they are 10 years old, so... <laughs> what I expect. Got your money's worth. Yeah, and I gotta... Uh, light these torches up. Freaking conveyor belts. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird, conveyor belts in Zelda. <laughs> you expect that from like a more futuristic type game or whatever. Yeah. I guess. Like Contra or Mega Man. Which was the boss where like in this game where the whole floor's conveyor belts? Um like, what temple was that? And you're it's like some giant bat thing. Oh, uh, I think that's the third dungeon. Oh man. Yeah it was. The second dungeon was the uh I, I forgot who was the water temple boss. A water dungeon boss, I forgot. Have, in this game, I think it was like the eyeball or something. I don't know. That's in the uh, Misery Mire. Uh -huh. Part of them eyeballs. As far as the water, I forgot. It's weird. I have to go back and look. I really forgot. I know the water temple boss knocked me out of time. It's a freaking water drop droplet. It's silly. But in here, I forgot. That's weird. I don't really remember either. Oh, yeah. It is, it's a thing. I think it's, it's not an eyeball thing, but it's something where it surrounds itself with a bunch of little bunch of little balls or little ball creatures and you gotta mm -hmm. use a grappling hook and pull them away from it. And then yeah, jump. that one. Okay. But the conveyor belt boss, that was in Dungeon 3. What, it's in the Lost Woods? Yeah, oh yeah, that one was hard to me. Yeah. Okay, and, oh well I just screwed myself. Um, ah. But yeah, but that's the only way to get the key, so how would you not have to kill yourself, or fall through right there to get back over there? That's how they get you. Yeah. <laughs> you have to hear that too a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a happy sound, so that's okay. Yeah. Well, it depends. Like in that third dungeon, you run you run over all of them on the floor, and then you keep hearing it over and over. You hit the wrong one, and you accidentally fall over or fall off if you're not mm -hmm. paying attention. A freaking uh, fire stick. Looks like, looks like one of those uh, Doppler radar signals I know. circling around. Oh. Ah. Forgot about that. Fire sticks from Mario Brothers too. Let me use my cape to get through this. Yeah. There we go. I called them basketballs because I would just make up stuff, and that's what it looked like to me at first. Yeah. Giant basketballs. Where are the Dodongos? <laughs> I can't wait to bounce the Dodongos. Oh boy! And I think it's weird that game. It's all Zelda, you know? Yeah. Right? It's weird. Uh, here we go again with this. Oh, that's okay. uh, much easier. Yeah. All right, now time to go to the main floor, or the top floor, whatever. This is the main floor right here. Now mm -hmm. to uh, finish the work our way to Ganon's floor, or Ag Aganum, or Aganum, whatever his name is. The wizard. Yeah. Oh man, I hate those things. They mimic every move and... Oh, I know. And when they face you... Yeah, the, the pink ones will shoot at you. Yeah. Now I got to contend with more of them here. Oh, oh, the spike ah. got it. Darn. Ah, yeah. Ah. That's the first turn right here. Ah, ah! <laughs> Let's go all out. I usually use that little statue up there and move it around to kind of block the spike, but... Yeah, that's right. But that I'm takes impatient. way too long. I'm impatient with this dungeon. I'll hurry up and right. get over with. It's already long enough. Yeah. Oh, no. 
Now you got these guys and the little laser team yeah. <laughs> Hate those things. They're also occupying your time. Oh yeah, but at least you can kill them in that game. Yeah, you can bomb them. Here, I try to bomb it. I go, wait a minute. Oh, we I got know. Saint Ocarina of Time. <laughs> I can't wait to bomb some eyeball laser things. <laughs> I think they're so, called Bemos, but I'm not... Oh, yeah, that's right. Bemos, yeah. At least in Ocarina of Time, where you can figure out what your enemies are called. Wait till uh, some fanboy posts a comment. Oh, they call Bemos. You don't know the name of it? You suck. Oh, uh, well... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we have lives. We may not know the name of every little uninspired... <laughs> Someone told me that one time, Metroid, like, the flying things, I go, these flying things right here, whatever, mm -hmm. and someone goes, those are called zippers, and the other one's called rippers. If you're going to commentate on the game, get the character's name right. Oh, exactly. Like, really? Well, I'm sorry, I don't know the name of every tiny flying insect in the game. Come on. Those are fruit flies. Get it right. <laughs> oh, yeah, these cannonballs from the very, the Eastern Palace. Yeah, hey, you got it, though. Usually, I get knocked off. Yeah. Uh, uh, horsemen over there? Little, little evil little My Little Ponies. <laughs> my Little Ponies when they turn emo or something, I don't know. Right. Oh, now now that Beemos is on a freaking conveyor belt. Yeah. As if they're not a pain enough to deal with. Ow! Oh, no. Nah, I hate that noise. I mean, seriously, at least Ninja Turtles 1 stopped. The beeping mm -hmm. after a certain while, Zelda keeps beeping non-stop. I know. Like, I know I'm in danger. Shut up. Oh, great. Now, conveyor belts and ice to deal with. And I know. It's more and more challenging. That one's too yeah. bad, though. I got lucky with that one. Ah. Uh. Oh. Great. Now, and then those little blue glowing orbs flying around. Ah, oh, man. Uh, you got some fairies. Yep. There we go. I know it's not uh, a link to the past. You can actually see what the fairies look like in the Ocarina of Time. It's just a glowing ball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, at least they're not annoying, though, in a link to the past. Hey, listen! Yeah, seriously. Watch out! Okay, yeah, I'm going to skip through this. It's just another... Uh, uh, boss battle from uh, one of the earlier dungeons. Mm -hmm. The Tremors or whatever they are. Yeah. Uh, get Kevin Bank Kevin Bacon in this game to fight him. <laughs> oh, it's a little invisible skull wizards. These things. What are they shooting at you? Like these weird crescent moons? Yeah, or maybe no. using the wand. They're, these guys are in the original Zelda, and you can actually obtain the wand that they use uh, as the dungeon item, I think, in Dungeon, dungeon 6. Nice. It's funny, it's a big pit right there, but the heart don't fall down to the pit. Mm -hmm. Lucky for us. I don't know those eyeballs. Not too bad. Yeah. Ah. Those spike balls. Uh, reminds me of the uh, spike balls in the water temple. Yeah. Okay, I think the floor falls right here if I don't hurry up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, you're stuck. Sucks to suck, little guy. Yeah. Oh, this room. Oh, yeah. Thanks. So much grief. Get the fire staff. The only weapon I haven't gotten is the cane of Byron or something. You don't have to have that one to beat the game, though, do you? No, you don't. I forgot where it was at, actually. But, well, I don't need it. You do need the cane of Somalia, whatever it's called. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, I can feel their eyes on me. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Here we go. Oh, this uh -huh. room is hard for me, too. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's the wrong place to start. Oh, 
Okay, move out the way. Okay. Uh, not... There's the mini uh, version of the first dungeon boss. Dark World Dungeon. Okay, yeah, well, I can't get any more bombs. Yeah. I got 999 rubies. Can't they just upgrade to at least 1,000? That would be cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, put the bomb on the conveyor belt and time it right. Ah! Uh, nope. There we go. There's no way to kill that thing, whatever it is, so... Yeah. That's another frustration. Oh, man. Oh, oh I kind of got stuck right there. Moving on. Oh, oh this oh. thing. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, this is even harder. I know. Oh, oh. I want to oh. land on the spikes. <laughs> Good thing this isn't Mega Man. Right. Alright. I hope I don't keep failing at this like I did the first time I fought this boss. Oh man, you gotta hit him with the actual sword, you can't use the mm -hmm. full energy attack or whatever. Oh, oh. Man. Alright, got two hits. Is it four or five you need to kill on? There's only oh. three? Oh, three on this one, oh good. Oh, okay. I guess because it's harder, to decide to show a little yeah. mercy. Oh, you have your tempered sword now, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that's probably why. That might be it. money that you don't get to use yeah i think like um when i first beat that boss right there here i was like oh how do i get out of here i gotta fall down and then realize that little treasure chest is over there I go, oh mm -hmm. <laughs> these freaking bouncing things oh, no. bouncers <laughs> ah. Ah. Ah, man. <sighs> you do that i know it's the worst Alright, here Seven we go. Alright. Uh oh. The second bo battle with, uh, a Ganem. Mm -hmm. Ho ho ho! Ha ha ha! Maybe I'm not gonna have a third meeting. <laughs> this one's, uh, you know, more challenging because you split it into three. Yeah. When, when I was a kid, I was stupid because I thought the only way you can deflect even though they gave me the clue in the game the only way to deflect his power was with the bug catcher net and actually it said that? no no I thought I thought they oh, would that's do it but they gave me a clue you know saying the master sword or, I think or you got to figure out a way to deflect its power back to him yeah. I, it actually said the master sword but I thought the bug catcher net was the only way to do it and then I figured out later on the master sword can do it too which is easier yeah. And to here, he don't shoot that lighting at you. And then you see Ganon. This was possessed a Ganon, or that's his alter ego, and now turns to Dracula and flies away. Yeah. Oh, now the bird wants to come in the dark world. Why right. He helped me before in the dark world. I know, seriously. So then I figured out that tap back there really was Ganon's tower. Pretty cool. One strong bat to break through that wall. Yeah, really. So that's the end of this part. We'll see you in part 16, which will be the final part and the less discussed. So thank you, Laura, for joining me. My pleasure. It was fun. Okay, until then, God bless and take care.